Hi everyone, I am Shubham Garg and welcome to this lecture series. Uh, in this lecture, we are going to have introduction about Solidity. That is a programming language used for writing smart contracts in blockchain. So uh, the IDE we are going to use to write so, uh, Solidity program is Remix IDE. You can use other IDEs as well, but uh, uh, Remix is a proper integrated development environment and uh, we do not need to add any front end or uh, back end kind of code uh, in Remix IDE. What we just need to do is we need to write a Solidity program and it will be easier to combine. And it also gives us some uh, test accounts to uh, deploy the transactions. All right. So without wasting any time, let us start with the Solidity programming language. First of all, uh, what you see when you open Remix IDE, you just need to search Remix IDE and uh, you will see this kind of page when you first open Remix IDE. All right. So there are some files you will see automatically built that is storage owner and ballot. The, these three files uh, you will all see already being made. All right, these are all Solidity files, and you can see there is uh, .sol extension that is .solidity. All right, now what you need to make sure is that in your Remix IDE there are two plugins installed. That is one is Solidity compiler, and the other is deploy and run transaction. So to install the plugins, you need to go to uh, this option that is plugin manager. And you need to click here and here you need to search the plugin like Solidity Compiler and uh, Deploy and Run Transaction. Although most of you will uh, be seeing these uh, two plugins already available, but in case if you don't, then you can go to this plugin manager. All right. So now, uh, let, so let us all move towards the code. So for coding, uh, first of all, you need to go to File Explorer. All right. And now uh, make sure one thing that uh, there will be a default test, uh, default uh, workspace, which is available like this default underscore workspace workspace. So what we are going to do is we are going to create a new workspace. All right. So uh, when we create a new workspace, we need to uh, name our workspace and I'm going to name it as uh, let's say test two. All right. And then I'm going to click OK. So once the workspace is created, you can see these three files is also available for this new workspace. All right. So here, what we are going to do, we are going to click on contracts and here we are going to click on this icon that is create new file. So uh, once we click on create new file, this kind of uh, option appears and we are going to uh, write the name of the file that is let's say test. All right. So this is our file test.sol. Okay. Before moving on, uh, I need to tell you about two more options that we need to make sure are checked. So in this Solidity compiler, there are uh, these two options this, in this plugin that is auto compile and hide warnings. So make sure these two options are checked. All right. So now come back to our file and here we are going to write the code. That is, let's say, first of all, uh, in any code, uh, what we need to write is the pragma statement that is uh, pragma solidity and exponent 0. Point the version which we need to use. So basically what is happening here is we are defining the version. Okay, that is, uh, first of all, we are defining the version of which Solidity language we are using. Okay, because Solidity is a highly uh, developing language, it is developing at very fast pace. So the version keeps on updating. All right, so we will be doing most of the programs on 0. 0.5 version. Okay, uh, but the Hello World program I'm going to show on this 0 0.8 version. All right. So now let us move towards uh, the other program. So here we are going to write uh, the keyword contract for a contract and we are going to name it as HW that is for Hello World. Now curly brackets on and here we are going to uh, write a string that a string will be that will be public and I'm going to name the string as greet and I'm going to take hello world as an output. All right, that is it is going to print hello world. So here first statement, uh, let me repeat first statement is the solidity version, which we are using that is pragma solidity and this uh, exponent sign makes sure that the version, uh, this program can run on uh, 0 0.8.17 and the version above that. All right, that is 0 0.8.1819 up to so on till the 0 0.8 latest version. 
okay if i uh, remove this sign then the program will only work on 0.8.17 version all right so here you can see on solidity compiler there are these are the versions which are available like there are so many versions and here uh, by using the exponent sign the program is going to work on 0.8.17 up to 0.8.18 till the latest version which is there that is 0.8.19 all right so one more thing i would like to tell you that uh, these are the you can see there are a lot of version and some versions it is written lightly build some versions are commit so uh, as this only commit part this is a stable version and all others are the unstable builds all right that is not much stable so it is better to always choose a, a stable version okay so uh, although the solidity compiler use uh, to always chooses a version by itself for example uh, if i am going to write 0.5.17 you can see it updated the version and it is using the plus commit version that is the stable version similarly if i use 0.8.17 it uses uh, it commits this kind of version all right so here we are going to uh, click on now click on compile test.sol so when we click on compile after that we need to go to uh, this deploy and run transactions okay uh, we can ignore the warning that is one warning is coming uh, that's okay so now we need to click on deploy so once we deploy we can see uh, there was some activity in this console so uh, when we expand this we can see the following information first of all uh, since it is based on a blockchain environment so we have the hash of the transaction okay that is this transaction is performed okay and uh, here from address that is the address of uh, the account from which the transaction is per uh, performed all right and this you can see the transaction cost gas and execution cost uh, these are uh, which is used for this transaction all right and this is for the input now you can see decoded input and decoded output these things are empty because we have not uh, we have deployed the transaction we ha but we have not called our function or we have not executed our contract so how uh, we are going to do that in just a moment but before that we can see here uh, first of all we need to make sure before deploying that there is this environment that is remix vm merge this should be selected and you can see here account so these options are available for the account okay every account is having 100 ethers uh, by default and this is the gas limit all right so and this is our contract that is uh, the file which is getting deployed and uh, below here at bottom left we can see uh, there is a option that is de deployed contracts so here uh, we can see there that we use a string greet to make the hello world command and uh, you can see here this uh, what this just is what solidity does is it creates a, a graphic user interface for all the functions Uh, and contracts that we are creating all right so that's why uh, in uh, solidity we do not need to add any front end code or any node js code or web3 code uh, we just need to do the solidity code and it is automatically going to create the graphic user interface uh, for our functions so the moment i click greet you can see here till now there is no decoded input decoded output the moment i click greet you can see here at decoded output we can see the hello world so this is the first program this is the first hello world program and this is how it works you can see uh, we can let's just change the compiler version as well and you can see due to auto compile compile it compiled the uh, thing automatically so when we click deploy uh, we can see it deploys the transaction all right again there is no decoded input or decoded output and the next uh, deployed contract when we click on greet so here after clicking on greet we can see that is string hello world so uh, this is how we build a first simple hello world program using solidity okay again the pragma statement is for specifying the version and contract is the beginning of any smart contract in solidity language we have named it hw and then we have used the curly braces and defined a string simple string that is greet and uh, it is equal to uh, we have set the value as hello world so this is how you run the first hello world program using solidity programming language uh, in the coming videos we are going to see some more programs and uh, we are going to 
uh, run that on Solidity as well. And after that, later on, we are going to see a voting project using Solidity. So this is all for this video. See you guys in the next video.